What we do here is go back, 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 back. What we do here is go back, 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 back. What's up everyone, this is Bill with Vape On. You can go check out the Google Plus community. There will be a link in the description below the video. I got a review here for you today. Coilmaster has sent me out some stuff to do reviews on. This is one of the items. This is the Monstrudio Flying Saucer RDA from Coilmaster. And it is designed by Fat Daddy Vapes. This is version 2. And uh, this thing kicks out a lot of flavor. It's got a really tight draw even with it all the way open. Uh, we're going to dive down, take a look at it. Autofocus isn't working on the camera, so bear with me. But we're going to take a look at it and uh, see how she vapes. If you want flavor, this thing is a beast for flavor. Okay, so here we have the Monstrito Flying Saucer RDA. And this is from Coilmaster. Designed by Fat Daddy Vapes. So this is the box that it comes in. Got a little logo there, a little logo on the other side. Comes inside this little sleeve. And in the box, the contents, Monstrito RDA, beauty ring, regular pin, bottom fed pin. So this will work for your squonk box. Uh, screwdriver, extra glass tank, extra O-rings, extra hex screws, organic cotton, and pre-made coil, two pre-made coils. And you do have the authentic scratch code here. Okay, so we'll unbox it and check out what all is in there if we can get this guy to focus. There we go. Okay, so you just slide this little sleeve off. We'll set that aside. This is the same thing there. Okay, so in the box, got our little card. Coil Master. Big shout out to Coil Master for sending this out to me to do a review on. So you have this little vial here with all your extra components. And your little bottom fed pin is in here as well. And you do get some extra screws there. This is a bottom fed pin right here. It's just a little tiny guy. You can see there, it's got the hole all the way through it. You get some grub screws, some O rings. You got a couple coils. They're pretty small coils here. Let me take a look at these coils. Okay, so they just look like some twisted, maybe. Uh, I want to say like maybe 28 gauge, something like that. Okay, and we'll open it up. Pop this little guy out of here. You got an extra glass. You got a little box here. In this little box, you get a bag of cotton and a little multi tool. That's what you get inside this little box that's inside the box that's inside another sleeve. Okay, you get this little foam insert that comes out. So that's that. So the way this guy works, this is a, a roughly 19 millimeters around on the glass here. Let's see. Yeah, so... Roughly 19 millimeters. And then the base is going to be a, just a hair over 26 millimeters. Uh, 25 and a half, something like that. So this is a 510. Two little O-rings here. And you got this gold plating on here, looks like. 
gold plate in here, gold plate in here on the 510. You can see there's the 510 adapter, or 510 drip tip. So it kind of is bored out on the bottom and narrows in just a little bit. So any 510 is going to work on this guy. The top piece is held in by these little metal fingers inside here that bend inward as you squeeze the glass on. So you get a good look at those, the way that works. So there. So when you squeeze the glass onto here, so we can show that a little better. As you squeeze the glass on, it snaps in place. And that's the extra glass. The glass is pretty thick too. Jeez. And it really grabs hold in there. That's our spare glass. Okay, so we're gonna put it on the this is the RX 300. Let's show it on this. This is the Panzer. This is just a single 18650 mech mod. So I just wanted to show how it sits on here. So it's perfectly flush. Just, just barely overhanging. Looks good on the Panzer. So that's... Okay, so there it is on the Panzer. show it here on the RX 300 this is what I'm going to be building it on doesn't hang over at all on the RX 300 so it's gonna work fine on that okay and then so we'll take a look at it here let me see if I can get this little guy apart let me show you a little better here I think camera's out of focus so it doesn't hang over at all on the RX 300, and it sits flush on that on that Panzer. So you can see there. Okay. Okay. So we'll screw it on here. Let me get it. See if I can get this glass apart here. Ugh, there it goes. Those O-rings are pretty dang tight in that glass there. Okay, so this little ring here is going to snap off from the bottom like so. And you can see it has that octagon shape. It has a little groove. So it has a little groove down inside there that this little guy locks into. So you can only have the air positioned you can't slowly open the airflow or nothing like that. So basically you get this little slit, then you get this little slit, and then you get that one. And it's gonna be the same on both sides. So we'll go ahead and align her up being like this, with it all the way open as much as we can. Okay, and this is uh, version two of the uh, RDA here. Okay. And then your screws that go in there are gonna be some Allen head screws. So let me grab an Allen head. It wasn't prepared for this one. Yep. We'll try their little tool they send you. See if we can't put a build on it real quick and vape on it. Okay, so I'm going to throw these twisted coils that it came with in there. Throw these twisted coils in there and we'll come right back. Okay, I just wanted to show you before I get it wicked. I got my coils in there. These aren't the best coils from Coilmaster. They do make some really good Clapton's and alien coils and stuff like that. And I thought this came with alien coils. So I believe that's what it says on their website. But to me, these just look like some twisted, maybe 28 gauge wire. They don't look like alien coils. 
But what you got is one, two, three, four, five little one millimeter air holes that are going to come in from the side. You have about a five to six millimeter deep uh, juice well. And then you can see that center pin in there. You can replace that with the uh, bottom fed pin, the squonker pin. So you're just going to wick it and you're going to drop your cotton down inside there. And then your glass sits in between this beauty ring, they call it. And you can vape it without the ring on it. It'll work just fine if you want that wide open. But it is wide open and it fits on here. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to wick it real quick. And then we'll take a look at it after it's juiced up. Okay. So you can see that's how much wick I'm using. I'm going to stuff that down in there. And the wicking that I'm using is some cotton bacon. This is by Wick and Vape. You can find these on Amazon. And the juice I'm going to be using today. This is Pebbles Cheesecake by River Reserve. Big shout out to those guys. This is all the only juice I vape is River Reserve or PNW, which is their other line of juice that's designed for tanks. Go check them out. There'll be a link in the description to their website as well. And so you're going to want to be careful when you're juicing this up because it's got those air holes down there. If you're dropping juice down in there, obviously it's going to leak a little bit. So we'll get past that. This camera guy even. Oh, there he goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stuff my cotton down in there. And the way this post system works, it's very similar to a velocity style post. And they are, it looks to me like roughly four millimeter post holes, maybe three and a half millimeter post holes. So you can fit some pretty fat coils in here, but there is only two of them, a positive and a negative. So that means you got to deal with messing around with the coils, trying to get two coils in there. And there is no single coil option. So you only got the dual coil option. And this RDA is designed for more of the people that are trying to go after some flavor. From what I've heard and read, it's not going to really put out massive clouds, but I guess that's all going to also depend on your build. So I'm going to try to keep the cotton back here away from, let's see if you can see this. Apologize for the focus, some reason the autofocus doesn't want to work today. So I have my cotton just a little ways away from the, the holes there. Okay, okay so... Here's what it looks like on the uh, RX 300. I'm vaping at 70 watts, and again, I'm vaping this uh, Pebbles Cheesecake from River Reserve. So let's try it out. So the flavor is really intense. You get a lot of flavor off of it. It is a very tight draw. I couldn't imagine what it's like. I'm not even going to try it with the single, with the little hole. This is all the way open. So to refill it, if you grab it, it's going to come up. I'm kind of grabbing the glass and the metal top here. Just so you can get right in there and see what you're doing. So it's a very small build space. Again, I really think it would probably really work good with a squonker on it. You got that little 510 there. So you do get decent clouds. It's nothing tremendous. I mean, I'm used to using this bad boy here. That's the uh, Fat Boy Alliance. And I'm used to using that, and that's got a ton of airflow, so I'm not used to this little bit of airflow here. So anyway, there you go. If you want a lot of flavor, this thing definitely works. It's only about $30. You can get it on uh, Coilmaster. I believe you could find it on Amazon. If I can find it on Amazon, I'll leave a link. 
but there'll be a link to it on the coil master website in the description below the video um as always subscribe keep watching the videos i'm about to give away a bunch of stuff from coil master that they sent me so watch for those reviews i'll be giving those away as i do the reviews on them thanks for watching have a good day